So now Deontay Wilder is clout chasing off of Olazana Usyk. Deontay Wilder here. Deontay Wilder is clout chasing off of Olazana Usyk. Because Deontay Wilder responded to Usyk, Deontay Wilder is clout chasing off of Olazana Usyk. Let that seek in. Deontay Wilder here. Deontay Wilder is clout chasing off of Olazana Usyk. After Alexander Usyk defeated Anthony Joshua, he was asked a question about Deontay Wilder. And he pretty much said that if the fight between him and Tyson Fury don't fall through, he wouldn't mind fighting Deontay Wilder. And Deontay Wilder responded to that. So now that Deontay Wilder is holding Alexander Usyk to his words, that makes Deontay Wilder a clout chaser. I mean, people, are we serious here? Deontay Wilder doesn't need Usyk, all right? He doesn't need Usyk to build himself. He doesn't. Deontay Wilder does not need an older Zander Usyk to build himself. Usyk needs Deontay Wilder's name. The only, the only thing that Deontay Wilder needs Usyk for is the belts. That's it. Usyk name Deontay Wilder does not need. And I understand with this whole global talk, I understand what you guys are doing, all right? If if Black American fighters wasn't the face of American boxing, then we wouldn't hear this nonsense about fighters being global, okay? Because in case you guys haven't forgotten, America is the mecca of boxing, and it's going to remain that way. How can the mecca of boxing not be global? That doesn't make any sense at all. All these fighters from around the world wants to come to America. And they want want to come to America for a reason. All these foreign fighters, they make their names in America. Okay? I don't think you guys heard me. All these foreign fighters that come to America, they make their names in America. If these fighters were global, right, if the Usyk's, the Lomachenko's, the Golovkin's, if they were global fighters, then there would be no need for them to come to America. If these fighters were stars, then American fighters will be traveling to fight these fighters in their own home. You see, you guys need to understand a person with star power. Floyd Mayweather, for an example. He's fighting in Japan. There's no need for him to drag a Japanese person to America and fight in Las Vegas. He's going over there to Japan and fighting YouTubers. Right? YouTubers. That just goes to show you the star power that Floyd Mayweather has. Floyd Mayweather is a global star. Floyd Mayweather can go anywhere else from around the world and establish a boxing home. Floyd Mayweather can go to the poorest country in the world and establish a boxing home there. That's the true meaning of a global star. Floyd Mayweather is a global star. So if the Usyk's, the Golovkin's, the Lomachenko's, if they were global stars, then boxing will follow them wherever they go. It will be no need for them to come to America. These guys, they have their own homes. Hell, these Russian fighters that get praised a lot from American fans. Why don't they establish a boxing home in Russia? If these fighters were global fighters, if they were global stars, then why isn't Russia the mecca of boxing? Or one of the places that you can call the mecca of boxing. Somewhere is in Eastern Europe. Somewhere, anywhere. Why can't these Eastern Europeans establish a home over there? The problem is, is they're not global stars like that. They become a conversation once they come over to the U.S. The U.S. is who what makes these European fighters. Or these foreign fighters. You see guys like Roman Gonzalez. He's a prime example of what I'm talking about. No one knew nothing about Roman Gonzalez. Until the U.S. got their hands on him. Once the U.S. got their hands on Roman Gonzalez. 
Roman Gonzalez became a popular fighter. The same thing with Manny Pacquiao. Once the U.S. got their hands on Manny Pacquiao, Manny Pacquiao became a popular fighter. But if these fighters were global stars, global fighters, why do they feel the need to come to America? Why can't they establish a home in their backyards? The problem is, is they can't. America is the Mecca of boxing. And what makes America the Mecca of boxing is the American fighter. You guys can twist and turn this shit all you want and make it sound good and make it seem like American fighters are not the global fighters. But in all actuality, the American fighter is the global fighter. If boxing is a global sport, then American fighters are global fighters. See, the thing is, you guys are mad at the fact that American fighters do not have to travel. Every other fighter from around the world wants to come to America. So why should the American fighter have to travel when all the other fighters wants to come to America? And so when it comes to Deontay Wilder and Olazana Usyk, Olazana Usyk needs Wilder more than Wilder needs Usyk. If Usyk wants to become a global star, then he needs Deontay Wilder. Wilder doesn't need Usyk. Okay? Well, Wilder needs Usyk for the titles, but he doesn't need Usyk for his name. Usyk needs Deontay Wilder for his name. If Usyk didn't need Deontay Wilder, then Olazana Usyk would have never proposed a Deontay Wilder fight. 